With real-time prices being added to the game, the meta of Grand Exchange Flipping has been changed forever. And in this guide, I'm going to show you how to use these new real-time prices to your advantage when you are flipping with a 100 mil cash stack. Drop a like and let's crush some margins. Flipping with 100 mil in this new meta is way different than the old meta, because in the past you would flip safe, very high volume items, filling up all your grand exchange slots, and take some risk around medium volume items when you are trying to increase that profit per hour. But now with this new meta of flipping, we are in an ultra competitive market as prices are available to everyone. So flipping small quantities of medium volume items as well as more obscure high limit or high volume items are going to make you more GP per hour. High volume items can be flipped as well, but they are still very competitive, which makes it a little difficult. Anyway, we're here at the Grand Exchange with a hundred mil in our inventory, so let's jump into it and list some items, and I'll show you all how I flip on the Grand Exchange with real time prices and a hundred mil. Here are the first few items we're listing today. Black Dragon Leather is a pretty high volume item, but a lot of it gets traded and it does kind of swing in your favor most of the time, so we are trying to flip those. We also have the Cactus Spine, Renar Seed, Purple Sweets, and Magic Seeds listed. If you've seen my previous guide on flipping with 100 mil, then you know I was not really flipping a lot of this stuff. I'm trying to focus now on those kind of more obscure items where the volume is not super high, but it is a relatively high volume at the same time, and it's just more of like a unique, not as highly traded item, just because they're a lot easier to flip compared to the super high volume stuff. The best way to keep track of your margins is using the OSRS price wiki. I'll leave a link for it in the description below. That way you can make your favorites tab with all your favorite items and track your margins all at once. But personally, from my standpoint, I actually manually check a lot of this higher volume stuff just because it is very cheap to do so, right? So it doesn't really make any sense not to pay for the most accurate margin in game and not use the site prices. So I'm usually paying for a manual margin check when I'm flipping high volume stuff. You'll notice in this new meta of flipping, you'll have to adjust your offers very, very often. As you can see, I've already had to adjust my Black Dragon Leather to make sure I'm staying competitive on my buy offer, and that'll happen a lot. Your offers will stop filling. If that happens, just adjust the price a little bit upwards and continue on flipping. As you can see here, we got the Black Dragon Leather after bumping up the price here a little bit. We're going to sell it back for a nice little gain here, and we'll see how it turns out. Since this stuff is a little bit unique, you'll see that it will take a while to buy up. Like we are on margin for the purple sweets, but they still are just buying very slowly. Also, we have the Renar seeds and the magic seeds buying, but again, a little bit slow on the buy offers there. Just wanna be very patient with these offers. If you are on margin, just leave it. But again, if something doesn't buy for like three, four minutes, you might want to adjust and bring the price up. While you're waiting for your offers to fill, use the price wiki to try to find more items that you can flip later on in your session. Things are going to take a while to move with this strategy, but you still will be able to make a decent profit per hour, so I wouldn't stress too hard about getting things to move quickly. These margins are pretty consistent on these like more obscure, higher, I'm going to call them higher limit items because they are, they do have a fairly high volume, but they are just higher limit in general. So these items are really solid to flip. You don't have to stress about them too much. It kind of reminds me of the old methods of flipping uh, as, as like a hot from like a high volume standpoint goes just because you don't really need to adjust things too often. Anyway, just keep a close eye on your offers. Make sure none of your offers are too far off margin. If they are, definitely adjust those offers to try to keep your profit up and keep going from there. This method of flipping actually differs from what I have been recommending on stream. On stream, I've been recommending you attack those medium volume items like Aram's Robe Top, Carol's Robe Top, things like that. But honestly, I found that these high limit items are really the best way to do it because there's just so much less competition on them that flipping them is just a lot easier in general, and they really do hold good margins regardless. One pro tip that I do have flipping with a 100 mil stack focusing on these items is if a margin comes down on you really quickly, don't just cave and sell your offer for a loss. Honestly, with these high limit items, if you just hold through the margin swings, it usually is going to pay off. For example, we have these magic seeds here, which have come down about 300 GP in margin each, and I could just turn around and sell them for a small profit, but I'm just going to hold them and they should sell after these limits that are a little bit lower. Lower, actually sell off and then my offer will get filled uh, a little bit later it's going to take about 10 minutes or so if i had to guess but it's still going to make me more profit so i'm going to just leave it for now 
We're about 16 minutes into the session so far, 444k in profit, averaging about 1.5 mil an hour. We'll see if we can hold that through until the end of the session. This style of flipping does require a lot of patience, and again, I just want to reiterate, don't be quick to sell off your items. These margins are pretty consistent, and they will hit. Just be very patient with uh, how you are going to sell these items off. I know with this real, you know, real-time meta, people are very excited to just get in on those quick margins and get out as fast as possible, but trust me, you do not want to do that with this strategy. If the margins are good on some high volume PVM gear, such as the Seracnus Cudgel or the Dragon Crossbow, you can definitely flip them with 100 mil. It's going to be similar to how we're flipping these items right now. The flip's going to take a little bit longer, and it definitely will have some competition on it, but the item offers will fill over time. The Dragon Pickaxe is another item you can do it on as well. We've just been letting the offers come through for the past 10 minutes or so. Things are still buying up here. We're about 681k in profit so far, coming up on about 48 minutes. By the time we sell all this stuff though, we should be clearing 100 mil relatively easily since we are having a lot of items here that are still buying up that we haven't sold back yet. Also, these magic seeds have a massive margin on them, but we're having a lot of trouble selling them. Right now though, we have like a 3k margin on each one, so we'll see if it actually works out for us. We're just at the hour mark here, I still have stuff selling off, but basically we're at 812k in profit so far. It'll likely be a little bit more after the rest of this sells off, but we did just hit the hour. And we're back about 30 minutes later, all of our offers have sold off, which brings us to 1.1 mil in about an hour. It did take us a little bit longer than an hour to sell everything off, but we still were able to make a very good profit flipping these items. Anyway guys, that is it for the guide today. Just to recap, when you are flipping with 100 mil, you want to focus on these high limit items that are maybe just not as popular as a lot of these high volume items, right? Magic seeds, Ranar seeds, cactus spines, you know, purple sweets, things like that, that are flipped, but they just have a little bit less competition on them. These items have great margins on them and should not be overlooked. Also, if you are flipping gear-related items, stick to those gear-related items that have a high buying limit. Seracnus so Cudgel, Dragon Crossbow are both great examples of items that fill that category, and not only will be great for overnight flips, but you can flip them during your active sessions as well. With about 100 mil these days, you should be averaging about 800k to 1.2 mil an hour. It's a little bit less than you would have in the past, but with a decent amount of experience, you can improve that number. And of course, you're going to find those secret items as well that do make you a lot of bank. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to drop a like if you did enjoy, and I'll see you all in the next one.